I'm staying at the Mandela Bay two queen room. I wanted to give a quick tour, kind of let you know what to expect. This is not my first time in this hotel, but it is my first time in this room type of room here. And I'm pleasantly surprised. As you can see, two big queen beds, um, nicely decorated across. As you can see, uh, right off the bat, you got a big TV, a nice desk area that I was very pleased with. One of the cool things here is the um, kind of, I guess they call it the G-Link, is the ability here to have, um, you can plug in an HDMI, so you have a Roku, Fire TV, etc., a computer, your Ethernet, service, I'm assuming that's the setup, audio, optical, a couple plugs here, which is pretty cool. I brought a Roku with me, I always do when I travel, just because, I mean, once you get rid of cable TV and you're using Netflix, it's hard to go back. So that's a pretty cool feature there with that. And then, um, it's pretty nice up. It is a bar here. One thing to know is coffee is not free. If you move anything here, they do auto bail you. These waters are not free. Five bucks for a cup of coffee. It does come with cream, sugar, all that. And um, it kind of looks like a, it is a Keurig. So it's a Keurig setup. I'm assuming if you bring your own Keurig, your own cups, you're good to go. Um, a little sitting area, some magazines. I'll come back to the view, give you that in a minute. Let's take a look at the clock here. It does have a iHome for an iPod or iPhone. Um, and it looks like a USB jack there to plug in. Other stuff, Bluetooth, alarm set, all kinds of stuff. Um, couple plugs right off the bat. I don't see any USB charging. That's kind of disappointing. I've stayed at lower end hotels in at, um, Vegas that's had that before. Your phone, which is kind of nice, is a cordless phone, which is a pretty cool little feature. Um, let's see if they got anything in here. The Bible, as you um, I would expect. Let's check out the closets. I didn't open these before I started recording, so let's check out together. Um, nice little closet ironing board. Um, right there, some hangers. A okay size. Um, right here of the safe. I would you could probably put a full size laptop on there for most people. Let's go see what's on the other side real quick. All right, so you got a little, another closet. You got a luggage stand there, which is metal, which is great. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming the Mandela Bay would not have bed bugs, but metal does deter them, wood does not. Um, so I've always been told to have metal. Now I did notice that when you open these doors, there is a little switch up there that auto will uh, plug it or turn the light and turn it off. So you got a little French door type opening here into the bathroom. Dual sinks, which is pretty cool. Nice mirror. Uh, you got a blow dryer, some towels underneath there. Towels on the, um, the fridge there, or the uh, shower. I don't know why I said that. Um, nice tub. Not really a lot to say about, no jets. It's just a standard tub. Um, and then let's take a look at the shower here. Uh, again, nice, but again, nothing spectacular. No bench or anything like that you would expect here. A nice big area to put your um, shampoo and so forth right there. Nice shower head, but again, um, it does look like there's a few different features on it. Nothing too spectacular with that. Lastly, separate little toilet area, which is kind of nice. You know, something you don't get on lower end hotel rooms. The door to it does auto close, which is pretty cool. We do have to finish the last little close there. Let's go take a look outside the room and see what you will get there. Again, kind of a look down. There is a pass through right there. A big, big mirror for um, check, you know, getting dressed. Again, the big TV, the desk. Uh, let's open this up. So there is a fridge. Um, which is a mini bar, and again, don't mess with that. You, they will be built. So nice, couple big drawers. One thing, let me look at this real quick. Let's kind of give you a full look at what's in the mini bar. So it's a nicely stocked mini bar, but I bet that Coke's five bucks too. Um, let's look out here. Now I got what they called a pool view when I checked in. And it definitely gives a nice view of the pool. There we go. 
So it's uh, January right now and the wave pool is closed, but some of the other ones, there's some heated down by there by the bar. Let's see if I can zoom in, you see people in. You also get a pretty interesting view of the um, uh, airport there. And I've already seen a few planes take off and land. I, uh, being a uh, bit of a geek, I kind of love that. And I think it's kind of a cool little feature there. You can see part of, I guess, part of the convention center over there. I'm not sure. Across the way is uh, McDonald's and a, um, all kinds of other fast food gas stations. And right there's a helicopter taking off as we talk. So overall, a really nice room. Uh, let me stand back by the windows and kind of give you a slow pan here of everything. I would recommend this. Uh, it was a nice deal. I'm here for CES, and because I booked this early, I think, I'm not really sure, they did give me um, some free dining, some other stuff, which was pretty cool. Um, check your, uh, when you sign up, check their deals, their bundles, see what you can get for it. But I've been very pleased with customer service. Very pleased with the cleanliness of the room. Let's just kind of check a few things that are often missed. Nothing there. That's good. Let's check on top of the TV. That's a common one that people forget. Um, no, very good. Very, very clean. Very acceptable. Um, so two thumbs up. Questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, I'll do my... Um, Best to answer them. I hope you enjoy your stay at the Mandela Bay.